I think the biggest challenge for engineering leaders is their industry is fast changing. And all of these global challenges are here to stay. You need to understand digital transformation. You need to understand sustainability. We need to deliver on global challenges, bigger, more important issues than just really designing purely as engineers. It's very important for the future engineers to move away from being just pure engineers to become engineering managers. Engineering with management is a fascinating one-year journey that will change the way that you look at engineering. I studied automobile engineering. After that, I worked as a quality engineer in a small-scale company. I also worked as a design engineer in a multinational company. While working in these two industries, I realized that management side of the business is something I'm curious about. And that's why I decided to come to the University of Bristol and study this course. I studied mechanical and electronics engineering. Upon graduating, I started out as an electrical engineer and moving to become a head of engineering department. And from that moment on, I realized the lack of management skills I had. I really feel the need to like properly learn how to do both the engineering and managing a project and a team. The course is really engaging and has a really effective structure. It has some core units that are mandatory to everyone such as strategic business management, which teaches you how to implement business principles and strategic thinking. After core units, you can choose your pathway, which gives you a bit of flexibility in what you think it will be better for your future. My specialized pathway is intelligent manufacturing. How manufacturing techniques are developing in the market and how you will be able to do something which will be useful in coming years. My pathway is infrastructure systems. There we learn a bit about how everything has to come together from civil project, construction of a building, construction of a bridge, construction of a railway station. I decided to choose the Energy for Sustainability pathway. We learned all the renewable energies available and how to design, operate and implement energy systems. We really teach our students to have what we call the experiential learning. We give them a real world case studies about businesses or situations stories that happen in real life and we get them to deeply understand it, challenge themselves, discuss it in groups, having different opinions and really have a lively discussion. The lecturers themselves are people not only who have been academics but have actual industrial experience which I think is useful to get some context into how these things are applied. I also learn from my peers because we all come from different countries. I have friends from Peru, from China, from India, from the UK, from the Middle East. They all view our problems differently. And also career prospect-wise, Bristol is surrounded by lots of engineering companies. So I know the career service at Bristol will help me to land a job once I graduate. And it did. My company, we built a bespoke vehicles, especially for emergency services. I built all the IT infrastructures, the control system of the vehicles, how they should be functioning. I've secured a tender manager role in a leading dredging company based in the Netherlands. I'll be pursuing my job as soon as I finish my course. I am a research engineer utilizing robots where robots and automation have not been used before. In the future, I'd like to pursue a PhD. However, I do feel that I need a bit of experience first. I'm from Portugal. I go offer from the national airline of my country. I'm going to study innovative ways of implementing sustainability in aviation. After graduating, the way I see a problem now is more, how should I say, sophisticated. Me being able to utilize all of the stuff that I learned to real life situations, I feel like I'm becoming a better engineer.